Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Lightbox library so you can create a Lightbox just like this one. All right, guys, let's get started. The first thing we want to do is grab all of the images that we're going to be using for this project. I left the link in the description to a GitHub repository with all of the images. Go ahead and click the link. And that's going to take you to this website. And once you're here, you're going to click on code and download zip. All right, let's open that up. And let's get this folder out of here. Let's open that one up, select all of the images, and then drag them inside of your project. All right, now let's create a grid that is going to hold all of our images. And before we do that, let's create a class with the name of container and then another one with a name of subcontainer. And these are gonna help us make it responsive on big screen sizes. All right, now let's create the class with the name of grid, and this is where our images are gonna go. So our first image, we're gonna store it in this link, and I know this seems kinda odd, but this is necessary in order to create the light box effect. All right, let's add the name of our first image in here, and we're also gonna use data title to give it a title. Let's just type in Lambo in here. We're also going to use data light box. And this is necessary in order to group all of the images. So we're going to use Lambo image in there. And we're also going to give this a class name of IMG. All right, let's right click and open with live server. And currently we can't see anything because although we did add the name of the image, we used the link. So that's not going to display anything. That's why we're going to use this class to display the images. Before we do that, though, let's go ahead and copy this eight times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's change the name of our images. So this is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. All right, now let's move on to the CSS. All right, let's start with our container. We're going to use a width of 1600 pixels and margin auto. All right, let's move on to our subcontainer. Let's go with a width of 90% and margin auto. And this is going to ensure that this is going to be responsive on big screen sizes. So we are using a width of 1600 pixels here, but because we're only using a width of 90%, then we're only using 90% of this 1600 pixels. But this is still 1600 pixels so this is not going to be responsive on mobile devices so let's go ahead and add a media query so at a max width of 1600 pixels we want to change the width of our container to 100 percent all right let's move on to our grid class and we're going to use grid here let's use grid template columns we want three columns all the same size. Let's use gap to separate the items within our columns a bit. And let's also give it a padding of 20 and overflow X hidden. All right, moving on to the images themselves. We want these to have a width of 100% and a minimum height of 275 pixels. And that's completely optional. You can change that height, but please make sure the width is the same so everything stays nice and neat. All right, let's use background position center and background size cover for the images. All right, now let's get access to the first image with nth child. And let's use background image URL. And let's add the name of our first image in here. All right, there's our first image. We're gonna need eight more of these. So let's copy this eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's copy this, or let's change this to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Let's also change the name of the image. All right, now I want image number five to take up two. So I'm gonna use 
grid row two and four. And for image number seven, I also want it to take up two. So for image number seven, I'm gonna do grid row three and five, and also grid column of one and two. And I also want image number nine to take up two columns. So I'm gonna do grid column two and four. All right, so this is what we have so far. Now let's add the effect. So when you click on the image, it creates the light box effect. Currently, it just shows you the image. All right, to do that, I'm gonna leave another link in the description to this light box library. So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna paste it inside of your browser. And once you get here, you're gonna click on GitHub. Go ahead and click that button and download zip. Let's open this up. Let's get this folder out of here as well. Let's open this up. And you're gonna click on the dist folder, click on the CSS folder, and you're gonna drag the lightbox file over onto your project. And you're also gonna need the images. So go ahead and click on that folder, select all of those, and then drag those into your project as well. And you're also gonna need a file from the JavaScript folder, this one here, lightbox plus jQuery. So go ahead and drag that in your project as well. But because we did remove the images from the images folder, we have to go into the lightbox.css folder and remove this text that says images. So we're gonna do that four times for the four different images. All right, we can exit out of that and also the jQuery file. And now all we need to do is link those files. So let's start with the CSS file. So this one is lightbox.css. And we're gonna go down here to link the script file. So this is lightbox plus jQuery. All right, just like that. Now we can go back to our project. And now when we click on an image, it should have the light box effect just like this. All right, that's gonna be it for this video. Please make sure to hit the like button if you found this useful. And if this does not work for you for whatever reason, then go ahead and hit the thumbs down. Leave me a comment, let me know what happened. I might be able to point you in the right direction. That's gonna be it for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.